So 1,080 cases were identified. 550 were AMLs and first remission. 535 were MDS. Data came from 89 centers from around the world. This is truly an international effort. The results were compared in four different groups. We analyzed transplant-related mortality, relapse rate, and the final leukemia-free survival in patients according to whether they were 40 to 54 years old, 55 to 59 years old, 60 to 64 years old, or greater than 65 years of age. Surprisingly, the transplant-related mortality, the relapse rate, and the leukemia-free survival were similar in all groups regardless of age. And when the multivariate analysis was done, only disease stage and donor matching resulted in important prognostic factors for outcomes. This allows us to conclude that for older patients with acute myelogenous leukemia, a mild dysplastic syndrome, algenetic transplant with a reduced intensity regimen will result in long-term disease control and probably cure, and should be considered a valid therapeutic strategy for these patients and that age should no longer be considered a contraindication for our genetic transplant in this population. We also think that this further should support the use of, or the coverage of uh, our genetic transplant for patients with mild dysplastic syndrome in the United States. How widespread in countries where reimbursement isn't an issue, how widespread is their reluctance to undertake uh, HCT in older patients? Uh, that is an excellent question. If you take aside uh, uh, resource availability and, and payment issues, I think the reluctance is based on physician perceptions about toxicity. And uh, the reason I think this study is uh, important, or one of the reasons I think this study is important, is because it dispels that notion. Acute leukemia in older patients, or MDS with high-risk disease, has a median life expectancy of less than a year and a half. So these diseases, even with modern therapy, outside of transplantation, are stealing our patients an enormous amount of life. So this at least gives them the option of, you know, curative therapy, which can extensively expand their, um, you know, their, their productive life. So the fact that, you know, you are more experienced in life shouldn't detract you from being able to get a therapy that's potentially curative. 